Hey y'all, it's Nye Nappy, and I'm back for another Tip Tuesday. So this week I'm gonna be talking about a hair growth and regrowth remedy using the herb ginger. Now you're probably thinking, you already have a ton of hair growth um, videos on your channel, why do I need one more? Well, I love to research different herbs um, that deal with hair loss according to your particular hair loss needs or issues, such as poor scalp circulation, uh, dandruff, or other scalp-related illnesses that cause hair loss. So having knowledge of herbs is key to not only bettering your internal health, but also your external health and growing long and healthy hair. So let's go ahead and dive right into ginger and learn about all of these benefits. So ginger contains a powerful active compound called 6-gingerol. And out of the 150 constituents in ginger, this is the most researched compound and is known for its therapeutic and preventative effects. So let's go ahead and get to mixing and I'll tell you all about it. So we begin by mixing a three inch piece of ginger and peeling it with a spoon. Once it's whole, go ahead and grate it using whatever grater you have. I'll be using my beautiful Spanish grater. While grating, try to preserve all of the ginger and its juices into a container. Once all the ginger is grated, I will begin to strain it out using my colander and I get about one ounce of ginger juice. I'm going to add my organic amla oil, which is sesame and amla, which is amazing. I add about two tablespoons of the oil. Then I will add one tablespoon of my Moroccan argan oil, which is phenomenal, you guys. I use this for my hair and my skin. Followed up with one tablespoon of my Babassu oil. I have done a video about oils and how beneficial this particular oil is in deeply penetrating into my hair shaft. I combine these all in the container with about 10 drops of lemon essential oil. Lemon is great and has antibacterial and antiseptic properties that help rid issues, to help rid your scalp of any issues. Now, I like to add, finally, about two, one to two tablespoons of coconut oil to this mixture, and don't forget to use a water bath to heat up your coconut oil. Shake the mixture vigorously to make sure all ingredients are combined. And that's it, you have your perfect ginger oil. So I'm gonna begin applying this mixture to my dry hair. I'm gonna be focusing on my scalp and then uh, spreading it all the way down to my ends and massaging it deep to get all of these benefits. So let's go ahead and talk about these hair benefits, y'all. So ginger is rich in potassium, manganese, and vitamin B6, which provides your hair follicles with much nourishment and strengthens it and prevents it from hair loss. It also contains essential fatty acids like linoleic acid, which prevent your hair from thinning. Additionally, ginger's active ingredient, 6-gingerol, helps relax blood vessels thereby improving scalp circulation and nourishing the hair follicles for faster hair growth. The antiseptic and antimicrobial properties help control dandruff, 
to the scalp and prevent itchiness and scratching, which can damage the hair follicle. Ginger also contains natural conditioning properties that can prevent dry hair and scalp and produce a natural shine. Ginger contains the antioxidants gingerol, which additionally helps to fight free radicals. You have to keep these away from your hair to prevent hair cell damage, which can cause hair thinning and hair loss. You can learn all about these benefits and more on my blog, of course. Additionally, I will be listing about five other medicinal benefits that you don't want to miss that you can use for fighting off um, inflammation and other kinds of infections. So definitely check out my blog at www.nayamnappy.com. Okay, so I just rinsed out my mixture after about 30 minutes. Um, my hair is now prepped and ready for a nice shampoo treatment, but it already feels amazing. I think that's the case for my hair whenever I do a hot oil treatment. So you can do this treatment, um, they say twice a week, or you can just do this as prep day, as a prep for a wash day. Um, if you have any remaining mixture, please leave it in your fridge. I recommend throwing it out after about two weeks or using it up within that time frame, um, but also leave that in the fridge again. Dripping. But that's it for this week's Tip Tuesday, you guys. I'll be doing a full wash day using some new products that I got. You'll see posted uh, later this week, so definitely wanna check that out as well. And that's it for this week's Tip Tuesday. Don't forget to check out my blog and subscribe to that and find out on my Instagram more about Ginger and all of its benefits. So I'll see you next time. Bye.